Hello and welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we're diving into a real world tech challenge that many of you might relate to. Now picture this, you've got your Starlink set up at home, ready to enjoy the lightning fast internet, but then you're not getting a decent signal. And the best part for your dish may be high up in the mountain, far away from your cozy living room. So sounds like a tech night nightmare, right? Well, stick around because we've got a fascinating solution to this problem. So first, let's set the scene. You're out in a remote area, maybe a cabin in the woods, and you need to move your stalling dish to the mountain with a clear view of the sky. But it's way beyond the regular range of your home network. Traditional setup will require running two separate lines, one for the data, another for the power. But we all know how messy and complicated that can get, especially in a rugged and remote location without the right electricity assets. But don't lose hope just yet. Here's where our solution come into play, the composite fiber optic cable. Now this innovative cable is designed to transmit both power and data through a single line. Yes, you heard it right, a single cable does it all. So this is what a composite fiber optic cable looks like. Now notice how they combine the fiber string for data transmission with the conductive wires for power. So instead of juggling multiple cables and dealing with the hassle of extensive wiring, now you simply lay only one cable and consists of all this cable within. And it has a steel armor surrounded the cables and with the outer jacket, they're susceptible to temperature and mechanical stress. And here how it works. The fiber optic parts here, we have two strains of fiber optic cable. It will take care of your data transmission need and ensuring you get the high speed internet connecting from your Starlink and even in the most remote location. And meanwhile, the integrated power wires can provide the electricity that needed to power your dish and also the fiber media converter and all within this same cable. So now let's talk benefits. First off, installation is a breeze. You're dealing with less cable, which means less digging and less clutter. It's a cleaner and more efficient setup. And because fiber optics are involved, you're not compromising on data speed or quality, even over a long distances. And it's convenient to set up your stalling dish in that perfect spot on the distant hill without the headache of multiple cables and power sources. And with the composite fiber optic cable is not just possible, it's practical. Whether you're dealing with remote location, challenging terrains, or just trying to minimize in cable clutter, this solution has you covered. So next I'm going to show you the whole setup. So behind me is the whole setup. We have the composite fiber optic cable in between. And let's imagine this side is your cozy living room and that side is the remote location. So we're going to provide the power from the living room to your Starlink and then get the internet back to your living room. So let's break down the components that we need one by one. Since we're dealing with the fiber optic cable, so we'll need this media converter. Now this thing can convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. So let's power it up. This is our sharp edge cord that connected with the router. And then we have the fiber patch cord here. We're going to use this SFP transceiver. Since this is, this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. So plug it in here and into our media converter. So over this side, we're all set with the router and the media converter. Coming over here, this is our RCCB. This is a residual current circuit breaker. This is a safety device that can prevent electric shock and reduce the risk of electrical fires. It does this by continuously monitoring the electric current flow in the wires of a circuit. And you can see this is already connected 
and the grounding is done, as well as the distribution box. Now, this distribution box can organize and protect the composite fiber optic cable, ensuring that they are protected from the environmental factors and mechanical stress and potential damage during the installation or maintenance activity. As you can see, it is already connected with the composite fiber optic cable. And all we need to do is use this fiber patch cord connected from the media converter and plug it into the distribution box. Right here. And here we have the wires already connected to this current circuit breaker. And both are already grounded because grounding is like a safety net for the electrical system. It can provide a path for the electrical current to safely return to the earth if something goes wrong, like a short circuit. And here this side, we are all set and done. Moving over to our remote location. This is the fiber optics composite fiber optic cable. Here, let's take out the cap. This is a waterproof surge protector and an air switch. So inside we can see the air switch and the surge protector. Now this surge protector is crucial because it protects your electronic devices from sudden spike in electrical voltage that can cause several damage. It acts as a gatekeeper, allowing only safe level of electricity to pass through to your devices, ensuring that they stay safe during a storm or power outage. So it's needed since we are actually installing everything outdoor here. In the back, you can see the composite fiber optic cable coming through here. The fiber optic cable part is already connected to this fiber patch cord. And the power cables are connected through the air switch, the surge protector, and coming all the way out here to this power outlet. So voila, now you are getting a power outlet in the wild. And make sure you ground everything. So we have the grounding cable already here. Let's get back to the fiber optic cable. This is the fiber patch cord. And we are going to use it to connect with this outdoor media converter. Remember, we need this to convert the electrical signal into the fiber optical signal. So plug it into the SFP transceiver and slide it into this outdoor media converter. And this is IP67 waterproof rated, so we don't need to worry about it in the wild. Here we have the short patch cord connected to this wireless access point, the power source, the power supply, and it's already connected to this power outlet. So we are getting the power that we need not only to connect with the Starlink, you can also connect to other equipments if you need it. And let's turn on our S switch on this side here since everything is already connected. And I'm going to turn on the switch here, over here. So as you can see, the indicated lights are on. The media converter, the wireless access point, and also our power outlet. So it's getting the power that it need through this composite fiber optic cable. And also the data through the fiber optic cable within. So you're getting the internet from the Starlink all the way back to your living room. And lastly, I'm going to give out some more additional information. Before pulling your fiber optic cable, you should plan the cable routes, identify any potential obstacles, and plan how to avoid them. And use a detailed blueprint and mark the path clearly can also help, because it may be a long way to go. And fiber optic cables can only withstand a certain amount of pulling force before being damaged. So know the maximum pulling tension and use a tension monitor to avoid exceeding them. And always use the pulling eye. Now this can help distribute the pulling force evenly over the cable and protect the fiber ends.
Now that wraps up our tech talk for today. And if you found this solution helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tech solution and insights. And if you have questions or your own experience to share, you can drop a comment below and we'll love to hear from you. And until next time, keep innovating.